Elon Musk's Neuralink will start human trials. Will you sign up? You wouldn't believe some of the insanely advanced technological things that are happening in 2022. In some effort to help mankind, or enslave it, but hopefully not that one, but one of the most fascinating and yet also potentially terrifying areas of development in the field of technology has to be Elon Musk's Neuralink, a company that exists to develop ways for humans to gain more control over their brains. As we march inexorably further towards the metaverse, it's time we had a look at the latest developments and see into how Elon Musk's Neuralink is set to start human trials. Welcome back to Big Brain Tech. Do the wise thing and use the gray matter to like, subscribe, and share the knowledge. Alright, let's get a few things absolutely clear right from the word go. It's fair to estimate that about 70 to 80 percent of the population of Earth, maybe even more, have absolutely no idea about what the implications are for technology over the next decade. There's a fair amount of skepticism building in the average Western taxpayer when it comes to anything that is created by any government with so much excitement as the metaverse, or indeed Neuralink. This is most likely because of the fact that the last two years have really shown humanity what kinds of lengths and the powers that be will go to in the name of human safety, locking us down and restricting our freedoms everywhere. If you consider that, then it's completely reasonable that people will look at something like the metaverse and compare it to the matrix, or look at Neuralink and see mind control. As the current day world begins more and more to resemble something from a George Orwell book, the fear is palpable. Musk has, however, always appeared as a philanthropist with bright ideas that actually seem to be designed to aid humanity. He's politically neutral with a libertarian bent. He wants us to escape this planet and colonize Mars and all of his companies from Tesla to The Boring Company to SpaceX to Starlink are designed to aid us in some way. Of course, what happens when Musk sells the tech he has created or gets sick and dies, leaving someone else in charge? We all saw how Apple went from a philanthropic position to lazy rehashes of the same project year after year when Steve Jobs died. And so, yes, there's yet more reason for skepticism. It is for these reasons and more bundles that Elon Musk absolutely must get Neuralink right, because of what it could mean if he does not. Since Musk has a loving and yet fearful relationship with AI, that is basically what made the creative spark happen for Neuralink. The company and its research are a way for Musk to help potentially destructive and oppressive technology be used for humanitarian purposes, and that's exactly why Neuralink exists. In the experimental tech, and warning to the squeamish out there, a piece of your skull would actually be removed and replaced with a thousand tiny hair-like probes that will be sewn into the outer layer of your brain. A small device, a little reminiscent of an Apple Watch, though circular, is then inserted into the hole in your skull. Upon that, your skin is then sewn back together and congratulations, your brain is now cybernetic. It's pretty clear what the medical potential is for technology like this, though of course there are plenty of implications to consider. Your brain, as you might know, is basically a collection of tissue that sends electrical signals throughout itself and your body, allowing you to perform your daily functions as well as consider things outside of yourself. An electronic device that's connected directly to your brain tissue could actually help to shape, improve, and enhance all mental functions in a lot of different ways. Of course, it's a hard thing to comprehend, which is why Musk has tried to explain it as artificial intelligence being the potential third layer of functionality of the human brain. The limbic system is the first, governing basic instinct like needing food, water, sleep, and sex, or the impulse to protect your children. The next layer is the cerebral cortex, which is what separates us from animals, governing your conscious mind, emotion, and ability to reason. The third potential layer would have to improve the cerebral cortex in every way but without being able to exist without it. It's kind of like having a deal between machine and mind. Many people are already aware that there have been many experiments being done to get computers to develop the ability to predict human behavior and desire. 
An experiment that saw an AI selecting ice cream flavors proved to be a failure because the computer simply couldn't relate to having taste buds or the ability of the brain to translate the idea of cookies and cream into a desire to eat. The brain would have to provide the data for something like that so that the machine could understand human impulses. Meanwhile, the brain could outsource the complicated parts of life that we currently use calculators and phones for, and the chip would be able to process the data for us. Musk described the chip as being 23 millimeters in diameter, like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. Still sounds scary, eh? After all, there's a reason our bodies have skulls at all. Musk had better be careful when tinkering around with the central unit that governs all human experience. However, as previously stated, the device is intended to help humanity, and Neuralink wants to use the device to help people with severe spinal injuries to regain some motor skills and the ability to talk simply by using their brainwaves. The brain chip was seen in some footage in early 2022 of a monkey named Pager playing a basic video game after getting implants of the new technology, which worked by recording and decoding electrical signals from the brain using more than 2,000 electrodes that were planted into various regions of the monkey's motor cortex that coordinate hand and arm movements. Of course, the idea of hooking a brain up to electronics is not exactly a new one and has already existed for a long time, even outside of freaky sci-fi movies. Doctors, just an example, already implant electrodes in brain to deliver stimulation for treating such conditions as Parkinson's disease, chronic pain, and also epilepsy. Also in experiments, sensors have been seen to let paralyzed people use brain signals to operate computers and then move robotic arms. Of course, that's just the tip of the iceberg compared to Neuralink. In this company, Musk wants to build on those comparatively basic treatments as well as one day achieve surgeries that can improve cognitive function. But for now, the company is currently recruiting for a clinical trial director to facilitate the running of tests of the technology on humans. The job description reads, you'll work closely with some of the most innovative doctors and top engineers, as well as working with Neuralink's first clinical trial participants. Musk also told the Wall Street Journal CEO Council Summit that, I think we have a chance with Neuralink to restore full body functionality to someone who has a spinal cord injury. We're actually doing a lot of testing and just confirming that it's very safe and reliable and that the Neuralink device can be removed safely. It would have to be removable, yes, or the consequences could be horrifying. However, let's try to stay a little optimistic for the moment, as Musk does indeed seem to want to help humans all over the world, and he might just get there sooner rather than later, depending on how the trials go with this incredibly advanced new technology. But what do you think about Neuralink? Would you be interested in participating in the clinical trials? Are you scared that a computer could override your brain? Comment below. Then be sure to like, subscribe, and share the knowledge. For more vital videos, head to the Big Brain Tech Archives or simply click on these videos.